morning, everybody. How the heck are we doing? Mo and Drew Crew in, uh, indeed there, Mr. Domez. Good to see everyone. Hope we're having a fantastic heckin' Saturday so far. So good to see everyone for a great community showcase. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun in today's community showcase. We have a good amount of stuff to show off there. Lots of um, little things that you can place into your zoos, little uh, habitat builds, all that kind of fun stuff. A lot of um, full zoos and almost full zoos there. And we have our first stream where we're going to officially be showing off some mods. I know we've shown off mods a lot of times before if you've been following the uh, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve and everything, obviously. But, 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 but... Today we're gonna actually officially show off mods. So yeah, if you are in the business of making mods, cause Nicholas Lionrider, what's up buddy, I see you there. Uh, cause Lionrider has put out an awesome video or two showing people how to make mods. So I know we're gonna see a lot more of them. Yeah, you can go ahead and submit those. I will uh, I will be showing those off. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what's up. We got Leaf in the building, Heather, Lone Ranger, Haribo. Uh, speaking of Haribo. <laughs> Our Clooster, Micah, Harry. Poison Blade, uh, inert. Oh, it's live. Nice. Here we go. Um, Seth, what's up, buddy? How are we doing? Domez in the building. William Holmes. <laughs> that was all oh, me. I should, I'm like Mariah Carey. Do y'all hear the Mariah Carey right now? Man, I was all over it. Moonlight, what's up, Moonlight? How are you doing? I love your zoos. Is hanging out, of course. Of course, of course, Zebris is in the building. Lucas, Lucas has some stuff that we're showing off today as well. Who else do we have? I'm scrolling all the way up. I think I got, and because, because whose car is here? Because what car is here? So there you go. But yeah, well, let's go ahead and start off. We have a busy day today. If you haven't heard, we have a busy, busy day today. Um, first stream that we're doing today is the Community Showcase. Uh, next up, in a few hours, or when it, basically whenever we finish this, it's scheduled for two hours from now. Um, but we'll see how long the Community Showcase takes. We're gonna do some more uh, New City, keep building our little town and try and get that into a big metropolis there. And then tonight we have our Tremors uh, watch through on my channel, which should be a damn good time there. So cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and kick off our Community Showcase. And I wanna kick it off with a bang, and I'm so glad that Haribo is here. Hey, Ram, how are you doing, buddy? Um, I'm so glad that uh, Haribo is here because this is uh, partly their project there. Yeah, this is a collaboration, or used to be a collaboration. I think it's down to just Haribo now, but um, it was Haribo, it was, let me pull up the thing here. We have a little bit of work in here from Carlos. We have some work in here from Domez. Um, and I believe Toves, Toves Play was also part of this project for a little bit. But yeah, again, I think it's just down to Haribo now leading the charge with a few other people. So awesome. Let's go ahead and check this out. This zoo is all over the Steam Workshop there. If y'all haven't seen it, then you haven't opened up the Planet Zoo Steam Workshop because it is right smack dab in center because it is the most popular uh, item, which it should be. I have the game on pause right now. That is one thing I do want to uh, note that it is a amazing, amazing, amazing zoo, but it is taxing on your computer. So if you don't have the best computer, um, you might not have the best uh, time with it. So I, I do want to note that but um, otherwise if you can you need to explore this because we're not gonna There's no way we're gonna hit all the details. Hey MS Queen. How you doing there? How are you doing MS Queen? Uh, but there's no way we're gonna hit all of the details because as you can see we have interiors for like everything <laughs> And there's like custom walls and just it's it's amazing. So yeah, here's our entrance to Missoula Zoo located in Montana Montana. I've never been to Montana um, but and that's my story about Montana. So here's our little entranceway. <laughs> um, if I remember right, um, I think Toves had this on his channel or someone else did. Um, but this is like a winery entrance. So this is supposed to be like a, um, yeah, I hope I'm not misrepresenting it. But um, yeah, I believe this is a winery for the entrance there. Um, yeah, can, be ready to say whoa a lot. Just get get ready. If you haven't seen this zoo, just just make sure you have two pairs of underwear on because you're going to soil one of them. So, uh, and if you haven't noticed, yeah, all of the walls are custom just in the, Haribo fashion. Now, if you all don't remember, Haribo has been submitting a lot of stuff from this zoo. You remember the cinema and the planet Earth and um, just a whole on the custom walls and all that stuff? Yeah, this is all inside this zoo. So, woo! Hey, Peter, how we doing there? Level Wolf, how you doing? More people that are going to be in the community showcase today. Let's go inside the winery. 
here and head on in. The, now, the again, the stream is a little bit laggy on my end. It is, it's on uh, my end, it's on the computer's end. This is a huge zoo, a lot of details, so the frame rate is a little bit stuttery, but you can still appreciate it, hopefully, there. But just look at, just, just, get, uh, fuck. <laughs> like, what the, what, what the heck? Just, ugh. Just, this is, remember last week, who was it, or a few weeks ago, who was it with, um, uh, BZ, with BZ's build, right? With his ostrich farm, and I just kind of got up and walked away. I want to do this right now with this build. I just kind of want to be like, you know, I'm done. Now that's Montana. <laughs> when I think Montana, I think wineries. And look at, they even have back here. And you get some pizza, of course, but, uh, yeah. This is, uh... This is awesome. And just look at the use of um, space, right? The use of putting this little staircase up here and having the little upper. Obviously, guests can't come up here, but you know, you can just imagine, you know, just kind of sitting up here, drinking some wine, hearing a little bit of music in the background, like, holy smoke roonies right? This is just, this is next level. So, again, I'm going to be going very kind of quickly because we want to get through everything and see as much as we can. Um, but uh, be sure to download this zoo and check it out uh, yourself there. So, up over this way, we have, um, look at this little statue here. This little uh, bear and the uh, donated by Drock. There you go. Okay, so that is something that Haribo mentioned. Uh, they are very good. Just a second, I gotta stand up and fix my britches. My britches got in a bundle. There we go. I'm good now. Don't worry, everyone. I'm okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they did say if there's anything that was a workshop item, that they would uh, put like a plaque by it. So there's some stuff from like Domez, Carlos, Drox, stuff like that. Um, they're gonna put a plaque by it. But other, everything else is done by Haribo or Toves or a few other people there basically. So um, cool, but yeah, here's a nice little look out here. You get to look out over the first few habitats there. I will unpause it if the frame rate continues to be, oh heck, oh. I unpaused it and the game crashed. <laughs> oh shit. Um, <laughs> I unpaused the game and it crashed. What the heck? <laughs> That's literally never happened before. The the game was just like, nope. <laughs> I refuse to do that. Well. Well, well, well. Yeah, F, F and just a few Fs. Just a few Fs. Kablam! <laughs> no, it's hey Haribo, how's it going? No, it, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, that's I shouldn't have unpaused it. Um, this has happened to me once before on uh, in Thornton Hills Zoo when I was playing in it. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's it's it was my bad. <laughs> I tried to push it. So let me switch the screens real quick because Planet Zoo is gonna want to take a minute to um to think about stuff basically. So let me go, let's switch it over there. And um, we're gonna load back into it. We might do it last. No, no, I wanna do it again, because I wanna show it off. It's so good, we have to show it off now, but um, yeah. <laughs> Your scrolls have done their job. What the heck did you, you chewed up all my cords on the back of my computer. What the heck, Poison Blade? Everyone stone this man. Stone him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you officially broke the game. That's right, because we officially have a zoo so great, and it's in a, and if I remember right, there's only like four animals in the zoo. Not like total, but like four species of animals or something like that. Like four or five. It's so it's it's <laughs> it's only half of a zoo right now, which is like oh, <laughs> it's a, oh my god, how are you gonna do that? <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Six animals? Yeah, six species of animal altogether. Here we are. All right, we can boot, boot it back up now. We can boot back up. All right, so those of you that are new, sorry about that. That normally doesn't happen, but we're going we're gonna to do it again and just pause right away and stay on pause. And then you have to take out S and then you will play in zoo. <laughs> yep, exactly. All right, let's just hit resume here. We're back up on the stream. Yep, we're back up on the stream there. All right, here we go, everyone. I need everyone to cross your fingers. All four that you could cross, I need you to cross your big toe over your little, your the toe next to it. I need you to then take your pinky toe and try and cross it over the other toe. And then I need you to cross your legs and cross your arms. And, uh, and if you can, if you're flexible enough, put yourself into a pretzel. So then you're just as cross as you, and then cross your eyes too if you can. So just cross as many things as you can. <sighs> That we don't just load it to the zoo and Planet Zoo goes, <laughs> no. 
<laughs> it just goes, mmm, no. Do, 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 do. You're gonna have muscle pain? You need a stretch, all right? Drink some water, stretch it out, you'll be good to go. Cross your hope and, yeah, not to die. There you go. <laughs> Next episode, there will be about four more. Nice, nice. Look forward to that. Definitely look forward to that. You look like an idiot? Hey, you're looking like an idiot for science. You're being an idiot for science. We crossed everything? Okay. With our powers combined. With our powers combined here of crossing everything, we'll either end up in the... The Twilight Zone somehow, or Planet Zoo will load. Just don't cross the streams. I think that's the only rule. Just don't don't cross the streams. Not like your pee, but like if you're a Ghostbuster, if you're if you're like Ray, yeah. If you're a Ghostbuster, do not cross. Yell yelling can help. <laughs> <laughs> I might do that, MS Queen, if it, if it uh, blows up again. I might, I might have to do that. <laughs> He'll cross his chicken thighs. There you go. Yeah. Just, just buy a new computer. I just did that. <laughs> I just did that. I can't do that again. I already have a new computer. I can't get much newer. I mean, I can. <laughs> it took you 20 minutes to open Zoot and Tower. Oh my God, I haven't loaded that. I honestly haven't loaded into it um, since the last time I did a tour. I try and do that. I try and uh, wait a little bit to load into it just so it's like I can see a lot of the progress all at once. Um, but it definitely didn't take that long. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, a, it's a write-off, just go run. It's just a write-off, so. Hey, there you go, MS Queen. We'll put it in the good, the good luck bin. Or the, uh, the good luck jar. <laughs> well, we'll try it. We're gonna stuff the good luck jar today. So hopefully by tonight when we watch Tremors, everything will be good to go. It might take us three streams, MS Queen, but we'll get it going, okay? Thank you so much for your continued generosity and donations. I appreciate your face. I appreciate your face. Um, I want to see what Drew's going to experience showcasing a zoo like Masula with just as many detailed things with mods and about 100 animals. Yeah, uh, the mods and stuff. Oh my god, it's going to take a while to put all those in. <laughs> Today was even kind of a, a hassle too. Seriously, thank you so much, MS Queen. You're a continued awesome uh, community member. Appreciate you. Um, today, even with mods, I had to go back and forth and stuff because I, uh, who was it? It was a uh, Leaf. Leaf came in. Yes, everyone do the hearts and claps and uh, GGs. Um, Leaf came in and had a gray seal mod, a striped seal. What is it called? Anyways, we're gonna look at it later. Um, and I already had a mod uh, seal modded. Thing. A seal mod. There we go. <laughs> Going on from Lion Rider for the manatee. So I had to, yeah, like put the manatee gray seal mod in a different folder and then put in Leaf's actual mod that we're using today. And then I'm going to switch it out again later for when we're in Beyond Wolf Nature Reserve. <laughs> uh, I hope we can get like a mod manager. A mod manager would be exquisite. Because that is definitely what is holding back everyone from doing mods at this at this point. Uh, what's up, Jake? <sighs> Your Biloxi money? Uh, Neptune Parade is canceled. Might as well have fun with it. What's that? The cray? The was that say the cray of Neptune Parade? I'm not sure what those are. I'm Miss Queen. I'm interested now. There actually is a mod manager. Well, Funky Dunky. Mod loader that makes stuff easier. Yeah. Well, where is this thing? You think Nico made it? Well, Nico needs to market better. <laughs> I've never, I don't think anyone's heard of it. He's keeping it a secret if he is. Like, I know that there's a Planet Coaster um, mod manager out there, but um, yeah. Where's Bold? Uh, yeah, we are showcasing it. Um, uh, What's his nuts? S Dan showed the entrance area. Uh oh. 
The bear stopped moving. <laughs> she always, she does. She does always miss the best stuff. We're showing off the sloth today. We are indeed showing off the sloth today. Yeah, uh, Lion Rider basically, he just shared his uh, workshop page. He was like, here, just pick some stuff. I was like, fuck, God, you have so much stuff. I was like, I don't know. So I just picked like, I picked two of his items, but we're sharing his entire workshop page because he has so many things. Um, but yeah, we're gonna show off his sloth. We'll probably show off like uh, the items I already had from him. Again, I showed him off on the Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve stream the other day, but we'll show him off again. Um, and yeah, we're showing the sloth and something else. Can't remember what it is. I'm blinking. Actually, I have it right here. I have it saved over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, no, no. We're only showing the one thing. Hey, Linda. Want to say hi? <laughs> you can't say it for long. Well, unfortunately, I, I dang it, um, Haribo, I want to show your... Oh, there it goes. Okay. I was getting worried because the bear hadn't moved in a little bit. And I was like, dang, I really want to show this off. But it might just be between like Spotify and... Oh, here we go. Streaming and all that. All right. Pause the zoo. Woo! All right, everyone. Everyone who crossed something. If we had channel points right now, you'd get plus 10 channel points. That's what we need to do. Dang it. Uh, Heather. Heather, we need to uh, we need to get that going, don't we? The the Discord channel points. Heather and I were talking about that because I remember some of y'all were talking about wanting to do some channel points there and stuff like that. Can you change the color of the the wisteria? No, it just looks like a different color for some reason. Anyways, um, it was the yelling. Yeah, go! <laughs> All right, so let's move forward. Just in case this is a ticking time bomb. Um, Let's see here. So we, I think we've looked at a lot of these signs before, um, or at least I have on like the Bro Nation Discord and stuff. But yeah, animal sponsors help uh, care for animals at Masula Zoo and animals around the world. Da -da -da -da! Yes, you can. Everyone can unravel. You can all unravel now. But if the game crashes, then I guess that's what it is. Like if we unravel and the game crashes, oh look, there's that um, interior we just saw. Then uh, we know that the crossing. Then you have to cross the entire time. See, I always mention this whenever we go to a zoo. But like, I need to get on the sign thing. I need to get on the sign game because look at just. Oh, it's so good looking. It's so nice. <laughs> Bold, what's up, Bold? We were just talking about you because we we're like, oh, she's gonna miss another thing where we're showing off her stream and stuff. Man, look at all these little details. Just look at all the details here. I love this little um, pergola looking structure right here. Holy cow. Yes, you can uncross your eyes unless they got stuck like that. Oh, these are red pandas. You know what? I bet there's gonna be a raccoon in here. I bet there's gonna be a raccoon in here. <laughs> um, what is it? The red panda, the female, I think. It's the female there. So, yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good timing. Good ti How do I always do this? I think I mentioned it in the recent Thornton Hill Zoo video, but um, I always come up to animals when they're taking a dump. It just, it always, it, it always happens, so. Um, but anyways, yeah, here's the red panda slash, I guess, kind of, oh, that is so cool. I see what you did here. Oh, I love how this pathway is like right above the building here with the green roof and stuff. The green roof threw me off. I, I couldn't really tell what was going on there. Uh, that is an awesome perspective sight line right there. A raccoon, we need raccoons. I know, well, we have modded raccoons right now. So look at this like little Zen garden going on over here too. So we have modded raccoons uh, basically right now. Awesome, that is a really cool setup. Let's go over to the, let's go to the left and just finish out the red panda habitat. And again, the stream, um, your stream is not, or your computer's not lagging, it's mine right now, just with the uh, size and um, grandeur of the project. So um, yeah, it's not like your internet or anything. So just uh, just let y'all know. Oh, I like that little glass berry right there. Um, and then we just come down here, look at all the gardening. It's so good. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Is it, yeah, isn't it, uh, Carlos, or uh, G72? Yeah. <laughs> Here we have the red panda house. We have an interior. Oh, hey, you got someone standing there, like an educator. Oh, that's so nice. Look at these little windows you can just kind of look into. That's really nice. God, I want to unpause it so bad, but <laughs> I'm not going to take the, I'm not going to take the chance. Look at that. Everything, every single thing in here is just, like, zoo. It's, it's a zoo, right? So, awesome, awesome, awesome job there. Come back this way. Again, I'm going to keep mentioning this, but I'm going through things a little bit quicker than I'd like to. 
um, just so that we can fit in our big, big day of streaming. But be sure to please download the zoo and go check it out uh, for yourself there, because holy smoke uh, We're going to head back over this way. I like the little picnic area. That caught my eye with the new... Um, are these the new um, roof pieces? No, that was made custom. That is made custom. And it's kind of cool. It, like, it looks so, so nice. And you know why? It's because he... Um, or they use so many of these... Yeah, these like rock pieces. And I think it's a lot of the... Yeah the new grasses like everywhere so that's really what like kind of chugs it down but look like look i wish it didn't because the end result is just spectacular it is absolutely spectacular it just captures something a little bit more than uh the long grass can do i love all these little lookout points too with the uh these fake benches right this is a oh no is this an in-game bench it is an in-game bench i forget that we have this one <laughs> it almost looks like he built that so, oh, wow, look at this riverbed. I know we're kind of missing out on the zoo here, but look at this river area here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Dude. Okay, I think I changed my mind. This might be where the frames are all going. <laughs> Actually, yeah, between the grasses and the rocks. Man, I just wish that those things didn't lag so bad because this looks just absolutely real. Like, this looks real. I mean, like, if you were to go into Ansel right here and get the right kind of lighting on it, it looks like straight up a real picture with everything in the background. That is, that that's ridiculous. Okay, let's keep going here. We're coming down to the Otter Passage. We looked at this sign before, haven't we? We've definitely looked at this sign before. Um, oh, curves. I see curves. Ooh, how'd you get that curve going? Did you use the, uh, what piece is that? Painted metal rod. Oh, it's just the uh, metal rod actual curve. Nice. I thought you did that custom. I was about to say, wow, that is really uh, <laughs> well done there. But that's cool to use that as a railing. Good idea there. Do, do, do. Hey, Herman, how you doing, buddy? Um, I messaged you on Discord, so hopefully you got that. I was running all over the place this morning, so I had no time to give you a ring, unfortunately. Uh, getting set up for today's streams there, but holy cow, look at this um, otter habitat here. This reminds me of the, um, I don't know if it's, I think it's the Houston Zoo, if I remember right. The Houston Zoo uh, kind of looks like this a little bit, um, with the two different levels and stuff like that. I like that you have like the slide coming down. Awesome. That's so good looking. <laughs> here they are here. Little otter dudes and dudettes. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the people over there. <laughs> uh, okay, good, Herman. Good, good. And let's go inside here. Oh, hey, remember the zoo cinema thing that we saw last week? I think we're going to see it inside here. So come on in here. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, you know what's really cool right here? You see the two differences? You see what's really cool with the, for guests of all um, disabilities and um, everything like that? Have the stairs and you have a little ramp right here. That's good. Oh, I remember when you shared this on Discord. You sh your picture was like right about here or something like that. And he was saying that, um, you know, someone didn't lock the control panel enough. And uh, it swung open. So you have the little control panel here for, you know, like the lights or whatever else inside here. That Yeah. I love those little janky little touches. That's That gives so much character to a character to character to rather to uh, little builds and stuff like that. So <laughs> that's awesome here. Let's see. You got the nice view of the otters here. Cool little waterfall looks like back there. Nice underwater viewing. Love this otter habitat. Let's go backwards, though, because here's the zoo cinema, the otter zoo cinema, hourly screenings. Today's screening is Planet earth the amazons the amazonas the amazonas the amazons the amazons and here we go so we saw this last week right we saw the different um pieces of this the chair the planet earth the cinema and the speakers here it is all put together and actually let me quickly turn the lights off look at that look at that the lighting is perfect it is just just uh, 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 it's crazy <laughs> oh, holy cow ah. all right so who quits who quits playing at zoo today i think i'm on my way <laughs> i think i'm on my way all right let's head on out this way and we're gonna keep walking down the uh the way oh you know what nope we're not gonna miss the little backstage area there oh yeah look at this like a little like um otter backstage area with a little pool and everything there you quit a while back. Yeah. <laughs> Linda quit. Yep. 
makes Heather want to build. See, there's the right, there's the right, um, the actual inspiration y'all should be taking is, oh my gosh, I want to go make something kind of like this, right? Look at the little path right here, the little um, backstage path. Obviously not used because it goes to, uh, looks like aviaries over here, but I love how it's all overgrown like that. That is so nifty. That is so nifty. It's like old zoo and new zoo kind of put together there. Oh, and it comes all the way back over this way. Like everything has a purpose to it, right? Like everything actually has a little purpose to it. That actually leads to something. Like this just kind of leads to the backstage area there. These are goals. See, yeah, there you go. 2021 goals. Be like Haribo. <laughs> There's your 2021 goals. All right, I want to make sure I'm not getting uh, missing anything really quick here. So we did that. We did this. Uh, we wrap around. You know, let's go back up top here. Let's go back up top to our red raccoon pandas and check out the aviary here. Yeah, because that's what we kind of snuck up behind here. Cool. So here we have some of the... Um, there, oh, look, actually spelled out for you the uh, all the birds that they have here. The king quail. <laughs> this, this is uh, sponsored by... Uh, the pheasants were sponsored by Drac, which remember, if it's uh, something is sponsored by in this zoo, that means that that person built it. So these are Drac's birds uh, put inside here. But look at this. Oh, my gosh. Spend their stimulus checks on some new computers. Right, yeah, everyone get a new uh, CPU. Everyone get a new CPU. <laughs> That's not the worst idea. Oh, whoa. Oh, I love the little signs there. That's so good. Oh, the levels. Yeah, all the terrain levels and stuff. Yeah, because look, we're right back where we were with the uh, path that we we're just looking at. The little uh, terrain work there. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's turn around here. This is where I got the um, uh, thumbnail photo from, from the Arctic Wolf uh, pen here. Uh, but yeah, loved this. And I think it's, um, you know what they do, uh, Haribo does a really great job of, is using small little bits of rock. If you don't have this piece favorited, um, oh god, did I break it? Oh god, the zoo froze. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I tried to get fancy and move a piece. I got real fancy and hit X. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried to I tried to play the game everyone I shouldn't have done that oh it worked okay good <laughs> we're good we're okay we're okay so anyways what I was trying to say before Planet Zoo was like no is you see the pieces that um, Haribo uses here for the rocks it's a lot of the this uh, temple stone you definitely have this piece favorited it is oh god I hit X again uh oh uh oh and we're good and uh but so yeah this piece right here from the south america set is amazing especially as you can see when you can combine it with a lot of other stuff you see a little few natural rocks in there um but yeah you see a lot a lot of creators will do this kind of thing now um so just having little itty bitty like pebbles and um stones and stuff like that through there so do, 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 do. stop hitting x i know i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, yeah, here's the Arctic wolf um, habitat there. We have a little underground here. Um, are you brave enough for the wolf den? Yeah. <sighs> Duh. Let's turn off the lights while we're down here. It's just a puppy. It's just a puppy. There's, I love the lighting, the little backlighting that we have going on through here. It's really, really good. And you get nice little views of the uh, of the den there. Nice. I just wish the glass wasn't so cloudy. It's so cloudy, so it makes it so hard to see there. You scared? Well, then stay outside if you're scared. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's head on down this way. Yeah, just a little bit bigger than a puppy, but it's just a cute little guy. Come on, little guy. Uh, hey, does this look familiar to anyone? This has been used in uh, Thornton Hills Zoo, uh, the Charles Darwin sign there. Um, Haribo messaged me after um, after where I got done building in the South America section. There was the big South America dome, and Haribo messaged me like, hey, I have this plaque. I was like, hey, that's a great plaque. <laughs> I'll totally use that. Ooh, I love this entrance over here. You can see we're, um, we're starting to get into areas that are not as completed, but still looks amazing. Like this archway right here, made out of all of the bracket pieces, it looks like. Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. Let's move, move forward. Yeah, the New World Decorative Light Bracket piece. This is another piece that uh, if you want to get building really, really tiny and stuff like that, is like should be in your favorites for sure. Um, cool, let's go over this way to, what do we have here? This little cabin. Another sponsorship here for animals. It, oh, look at this little cabin here. It straight up looks just like a cabin. I love it. You can like almost like smell it in here, right? 
kind of hear it like the echoes as you're walking on the wood floor and just kind of smell like the wood and everything oh that's so good we're just at the arctic wolf again yeah yeah do 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 hey william no this is uh this is by haribo this is by haribo with a few blueprints from other people but um primarily from uh haribo there from Missoula zoo so oh look at this look at the prairie this is like what i really wanted the prairie to look like in thornton hill zoo but i was too scared to put down this many grass pieces oh that looks so good that looks so good so worth it to kill your frames for this honestly like <laughs> it sounds sarcastic but i don't mean it to sound sarcastic it's honestly worth it to kill your frames for something this beautiful looking like oh right there right there and then later on, when the zoo is even more complete, you're going to see stuff back there. Oh, funk. Funk me. And then as we come up this way, again, the levels are so cool, right? Um, I can't remember who mentioned it earlier, but yeah, the levels. As we kind of come up this way and you see the, you know, concrete retaining walls and the building, like, see all the green roof that they do too? Um, all the green roofs and stuff? Yeah, that's, uh, that is pretty sick there. And then we come up this way to oh looks like a primate house but it's like the fanciest primate house i've ever seen little outlook here flamingos squawk no i think it's just an outdoor area for the primates uh okay let's head on in here and ooh, ooh, you're like in a glass box and they can like go all over the whole thing Ooh. Wow, is, this is like so cramped in here. Look at all the little like climbing stuff and foliage. What do we have here? Oh, uh, uh, capuchin. We have cappuccino monkeys. We have little cappuccino monkeys. Jeez, man. <laughs> I just, I'm running out of uh, descriptive words here. I'm truly running out of descriptive words, I think. Because uh, it's just always... It's always a new thing. <laughs> it's always just something new, I feel like. And they can come over here, too. That's why I meant the guests just kind of come into this um, little rectangular box there. And look at the floor, even. I've kind of even, I haven't even really mentioned that, but all the flooring is custom. Um, I meant, I've, I wanted to look and hear what it was, because, like, yeah, just off the first glance. What is this floor piece, everyone? What is this floor piece? If you already know, like, maybe don't guess, but like, yeah, if you had to guess, what is what is this piece used to make this really sleek looking wood floor uh, design here? I have no, I had no clue either. When I, like, I just started looking at it, I was like, what is it though? Like, yeah, planks, yeah. Arctic wood plus glass. No clue either, African plank. Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. It's a sign. It's the East Asia sign flipped upside down. And it has this awesome wood texture, like glossy wood texture to it. <laughs> so, remember sometimes I, uh, so one of my suggestions is to flip everything upside down? That's why you flip everything upside down and all around and everything. <laughs> Do you look at everything from all angles because you never know what things are gonna look like. So, yeah, no, that was like when I was, uh, I went really quickly through the zoo yesterday because I knew I wanted to use Masula for the thumbnail. And I went in here to look and I was like, what, wait, what floor piece is like? Because usually I can look at things and be like, okay, I think this is like a temple piece or, you know, the African rocks or something like that. Or, you know, I can kind of figure it out. But I was just looking at that and I was like, what piece is that even? <laughs> and I was like, you, you crazy SOB. <laughs> you crazy SOB. Uh, let's look over here. These are not flamingo squawk. This is an outdoor area for our um, monkeys to hang around. Oh, there's how they get out right here. This guy's, I want to hit on pause so bad. I want to see him run around here. So anyways, <sighs> I thought Simbo was too lazy to type. Uh-huh. Sure, Linda. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, awesome. 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 I know I like, I'm going over it so quickly and I, I, I wanted to make sure we're doing it justice, but look, look at this little boat ramp area over here. Look at that. This awesome bridge right there. It took a ton of work to get the curves really um, right there. Just. Blah. Oh, look, we have a playground right here. Wait, people are like actually. Are they stuck? I, it looks like they might be stuck right there. Or wait, 
Because there's no path, right? I want to unpause it so bad. <laughs> I want to, because it looks like they're actually using it. So I think there's a path under there that they're just kind of on and they're probably like jumping up and down like, hey, hey, I'm stuck, hey. Um, so he probably has them stuck right there, which is so funny. <laughs> Um, you better show my backstage. All right, and that's about all the time we have for this um, today's community showcase. Sorry we couldn't show off any more, but uh, do be sure to join next week when we'll show anything but Carlos's backstage. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so let's see here. <laughs> um, let's go. Yeah, there it is. We are very close. <laughs> <laughs> getting sassy i know it's it's only like it's less than an hour into the first stream of three today i'm already getting sassy so i'm assuming this is all of carlos's backstage because i already recognize some of carlos's uh backstage clutter there so oh man but yeah if y'all don't know carlos g72 uh, has helped me and several other creators sdn as well um and obviously haribo here um with a um with some backstage stuff and yeah uh, carlos has done a lot of awesome stuff in uh, thornton hill zoo he did the entrance building in thornton hill zoo and part of the um african section as well so yeah and uh obviously you can see here carlos is just always on it <laughs> he's just, carlos always wants to build and whenever he does it always turns out just spectacular absolutely spectacular so bravo bravo there i like this little nook over here too and it's cool that you oh it is it is you have a little garden back here a little uh vegetable and uh fruit garden going on back here that's so cool that's so cool uh the place is amazing yes yes absolutely um sassy drew is why we is what you guys love <laughs> uh i don't know about that sassy drew goes overboard sometimes all right i know <laughs> i know i missed some stuff and I, I hate that i did um let's just do a quick overview here um and remember this is season one okay so this oh yeah here it is i knew i missed some stuff uh, this is season one here um so it is going to be expanding like uh, haribo said there's four new animals that are going to be coming to the next update for this um so please 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 be sure to check out um haribo's channel right haribo you have a youtube channel that you're putting all this up on um and you can also download the zoo there and check it out for yourself um because yeah I'm, i know i missed some stuff like did we did we go in here did we go in here you do yeah that's right you do yep oh here's the burgers uh place why don't you go ahead and link it haribo go ahead and link your channel because um i want you need to get more exposure for this you need as much exposure as you can. But let's go in here while Haribo's doing that. We're going to go in the Wolf's Inn. Let's grab ourselves a, a burger here. Oh, I love this. I love the rustic feel. Oh, look at the boat up there. I remember we re-reviewed some of these burgers um, signs and stuff like that before. Remember, everyone? So, <laughs> look at the ice that fell. <laughs> Clean up on a hill over here clean up on aisle over here and look at they pick it up over here oh get out oh get the fuck out of here get out of here <laughs> what just so you just so you know all this is custom right everyone knows that like this is not like a box that you throw into planet zoo this is all custom <laughs> this is oh my god oh my just stop right at, at, at a certain point it goes from being like just amazing to just just get out just stop it leave right now pack your things and never come back because there's no way anyone is getting close to what this person has ever done <laughs> outdone yourself with the, all the custom food isn't it ridiculous kayla isn't it just ridiculous on the best degree holy smokes all right so there again i know i don't want to miss anything <laughs> I, I don't but it feels like we're gonna um yeah i think i think i think that is a good look at season one of masula zoo by haribo and a few oh you know there's something over here and a few special guest builders or uh, guest blueprint builders basically so let's look at this over here looks like there's some like old stuff going on here old winery like Ooh, look at the trees all uh, planted and stuff. I like this. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Check the wall after the bridge. Okay. Okay. Um, ooh, look, old stables? That's awesome. I love me some abandoned stuff here. I love me some abandoned stuff. All right, so you said, uh, check the wall after the bridge. Let's see. 
there's a bridge there. You mean this wall over here? Oh! <gasps> It's a bunch of tiger rocks and some some of the itty bitty classic roof pieces and and yeah some of the rock and dot exe has stopped responding <laughs> i just i i i i don't know <laughs> I don't I don't know anymore. I I can't. I officially can't anymore. <laughs> like is this play what game are we playing? Did I load up the wrong game? Silence for the detail. Like, that's kind of how I felt. It's like anything I say is going to just be lackluster in in it. It's, it's going to be it's going to be absolutely lackluster in um what I could explain. But okay. So um that's what you could look forward to in season two it looks like there's just a little taste uh for season two you can see some other stuff kind of getting worked on in the background i don't want to do them uh injustice though by showing it off until it's uh looking very very nice there so um but yeah so there you go masula zoo uh season one an absolute gem an absolute diamond for the planet zoo community there uh and again i, I know you know I, I have a really high-end system and it's kind of stuttering on my end if you can try and get this downloaded try and get this downloaded or at the very least still go and like favorite um subscribe to it even it'll, it'll help out haribo get some more exposure for it comment on it too on the steam workshop page um definitely do that so even if you think you can't run it still give the creator uh creators even um some love there on the steam workshop page and everything so yeah big claps big ggs big all that good stuff there for haribo in the chat please very very uh, much deserved so yeah awesome 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 that is a great way to uh start off our community showcase today it is a good community showcase i feel like we're gonna run a little bit into our next stream i don't think we're going to I'll be able to do as much or start new city uh, uh, on time, but that's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Definitely terrible. Thank you for submitting it. Um, we always look forward to uh, seeing your awesome stuff. And again, if you all don't, um, if you all remember, um, this isn't the only thing we've seen from Haribo. A lot of the stuff that we've seen um, in that zoo are uh, separate blueprint items. You know, like the cinema items and uh, signs and all that other stuff. So check out Haribo's workshop altogether. Uh, have some really, really just useful stuff altogether um, on there, as well as you know, of course, Masula Zoo there. So yeah, thank you, thank you. There we go. Everyone, do the claps there. The clippity clap claps. Even quitting the zoo, Planet Zoo is like, oh god. It's like uh, it's like we slammed a a ton weight on Planet Zoo to play it, and now it's trying to like wiggle its way out from underneath the one ton weight. <laughs> good yeah there we go everyone nice you're still drinking wine at the entrance and drowning in my lack of building skills hey you know as long as we can have fun with that right we can we can sit there and uh, enjoy a glass of wine uh, maybe a nice craft beer enjoy the sights and revel in all of uh, the amazingness that other people have built there <laughs> yeah right it's like no I don't want to go to anything else this is the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. Don't take me away. <laughs> uh, it's pulling a plant co. I know. I've never seen it do this before. <clears throat> Planet Coaster, I was totally used to doing that, but um, Planet Zoo, I don't. It hasn't really normally done this. Where when you quit out, Planet Coaster, whenever you quit Planet Coaster, um, it always crashes the game out. Like it always just crashes. This isn't gonna crash it. It's not that big a deal. But um, <clears throat> um, but yeah, this is a. Uh, this is good. <laughs> I'm so young. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, us millennials decided that we don't like piss beer. <laughs> us millennials took a look around and we're like, wait, why are we stuck with drinking piss beer? Like Keystone and Coors and Budweiser and stuff. Can't we like have good beer like Europeans? And then we were like, yeah, we can actually. <laughs> we can actually have good beer. You just ended up force quitting? Oh, I hope I don't have to do that. We should be okay, though. 
We have figured out the way. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> I don't mind me some cores and stuff like that every once in a while if I'm just trying to, just trying to get the. Uh, no, I know you are, Miss uh, MS Queen. I have to do my jabs. Favorite ale came from Germany. Oh, from Deutschland, yeah. Uh, if it wasn't for craft beer, I would just be a pirate, right? <clears throat> it is kind of weird though. Like I, I was, uh, I was just talking to someone about that. Um, my uncle. I was talking to him about that the other day about how they. Uh, oh, it, cra it crashed. <laughs> it crashed. It didn't want to. Um, but yeah, I was talking to him about uh, like why don't y'all ever like try and get good beer? He's like, we just never thought of it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess you know that's. That's a thing there. Whoop, yep, 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 yep. That's all right. Course sucks, yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best. Uh, tweak the performance a bit because it's already a pain to work with on this sometimes. Yeah, no, that's the bummer of it, Haribo. Daily crash emo, we should do that. Because I do have a daily crash. Does anyone else have the daily crash? <clears throat> Excuse me. Does anyone else have the daily crash where they start up uh, Planet Zoo for the first time and then it just crashes? Because I do. Do you have a Discord to submit workshop? I do, yes. Um, Kayla, if you'd like to, in the description down below, uh, there's a link to my Discord. And uh, we have a thing called the Community Showcase tab. So you can go ahead and submit a zoo, um, a habitat, a set of trees that you put together you thought were really cool. Um, whatever you, a mod. Yeah, we're going to show off mods today. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, feel free to come on over. Let me get switch this over in the meantime there. We'll get Planet Zoo thinking about it again. But yeah, no, Haribo, no worries, buddy. It's it is a it's a bummer that uh, the performance kind of tanks so hard on really super well detailed zoos. But keep doing it. Keep doing it. It's a pain to work through, but as long as you can uh, keep doing it there. <laughs> You have some signs that have been uh, getting popular in the show. Oh, nice. We'd love to look at them, Kayla. I uh, can't wait. We do it every Saturday. Every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. You have the climbing bug issue and it drives you nuts. What's the climbing bug issue? I'm sure I have it. I just haven't noticed it. But <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly bold. Thank you, Heather. Thank you for um, doing all that. Okay, here we go. Loading back up. Loading back up now. Um, you plan my coffee prep around it? Yeah, basically, right? You can just plan on starting Planet Zoo and it crashing. Yeah, and we just... At this point, I'm, I'm, it's kind of weird that we haven't heard anything from Frontier. I even um, tag them on Twitter. They Well, a lot of times if I tag them on Twitter, either like the post or at least I know they've seen it. But we they're just total silence on uh, all these big, big... Like, Remnant, Eben, myself, and S-Dan... Um, and a, a few other uh, creators, they can't work in their zoos anymore because uh, it's so, it, it just crashes on like, yeah, anyways, anyways. So hopefully there's a, an update coming out soon. Hopefully we have an update coming out soon. So awesome. That was a great way to kick off the stream there. Um, let's go to the micro zoo from Lucas. I saw Lucas in here earlier. So let's go ahead and check out micro zoo there. Do, 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 uh, uh, wasn't Shantae stuck at home with uh, RSI? Maybe that has to do with it. Um, as far I mean, I guess just go on, but they have more than one person working communications at Frontier for Planet Zoo. Not, not, not dismissing what you like. That is a valid um, thing to bring up because she is the head one, but. I mean, someone at Planet for the Planet Zoo has to be able to like type on a computer more than her, right? From the communications team, I hope. This is cool. I like your little port thing you have going on here. Thank you, uh, Heather. Yeah, just thank you uh, for doing all the links and stuff. So cool. Let's go here. This is Micro Zoo by Lucas. There. Do -do -doom 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 -do -do -doom. You don't know anyone except for her. So yeah, before we get going on this, if you look. Yeah, on Frontier's thing, they they have so many community managers. Like, if you look through like all the di different Twitters of Frontier people, they have like a handful for Elite Dangerous. There's probably like five or six for um, or more for Planet Zoo. Planet Coaster even has like four or five or six, something like that. But you only hear from like one of them, and that always does confuse me too because they're all part of the communications team, but you only hear from like the main one. It's like, do the other ones not know how to type? 
<laughs> I mean, I guess like it has to be approved through Shantae or like the uh, the head lead community manager for that game. But uh, at times I'm just like, oh, mods might change some of this. Uh, at times I'm just like, y'all can't just type and be like, hey, everyone, we we hear hear your concerns and uh, we are working on it. Cool, thanks. So, anyways, this is by Lucas. This is by Lucas there. This is MicroZoo. And um, yeah, these here, this brick is not supposed to look like this. I apologize. Um, I have a mod in right now. For There's four for Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, and JWE combined for all the games. Like there's four that cover all three of those games in total. Um, so yeah, these are supposed to look like the classic brick set. So just so you know. Um, but let's head on it. Look at the map that they made here. That's so cool. I love that. This is built uh, in a campaign map. Oh, really? Okay. Nice to know. Oh, I can unpause this one. We can unpause this zoo. We'll be okay. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and look around here. What we have. So what do you have going on in here? Is this like an implied exhibit? I think we have an implied exhibit. Yes. It's very nice. Yeah, is it great? Yeah. There's only one per game for a total. Oh, I thought there was way more than that. Well, they reduced their community management size way down. Um, look at the box up here. What do we have? We have the uh, red panda. So it might be some raccoons in here. Yep, we have a few raccoons, but you know, that's all right. We have, I like the, uh, the structures here. Yeah, very pretty, right? It's very, uh, all the metal and kind of, it's very zoo-like, like old zoo. That's the words I was trying to find, like old zoo-like. Very nice with the gardening and everything. Cool. Look at this little uh, ramp up right here. Looking over our camels. <clears throat> with the grid system, it pays off so well. It does. I haven't really toured a zoo like this before. No, we did one. We did one, I think, by uh, one of the first ones. It was kind of gridded. But um, yeah, we don't tour too many zoos that are like in the grid style. And I think that's so cool. Oh, hey, uh, I guess sneak peek to Leaf. Uh, to Leaf's mod. Um, but so I guess two for the price of one. We'll show it off in higher detail. Um, uh, we'll show it off in higher detail later on. But here's a nice little flamingo thing, and we have some of Leafs. Um, what do they? Oh shoot! I'm sorry, Leaf. I forget the name of. I'm terrible with the animals. Um, flamingo. What, what are they called? <laughs> You're gonna get to it by the time that I. Uh, James. Uh, yeah, James Flamingos. Is that their actual name? Oh yeah. Nice. You just learned that you can change the color of the steel fencing. Yeah, you can change the color of the steel fencing, the concrete, um, a few other ones that you can change there. But yeah, really nice. Um, I love the um, all the straight lines going, all the concrete, just straight lines, and it's very uh, is utilitarian, basically. Yeah. So very, very nice habitat. And yeah, good job to leaf there for the uh, mod there. And again, we'll kind of take a, a closer look at it um, later on all by themselves. So very cool. Um, we have Africa House coming up, it looks like. Awesome. I love all these little implied exhibits. Uh, let's go into Africa House here. Everything's so tight, too. Every, like, everywhere that you kind of turn, it's like, oh, there's something. And, you know, oh, there's something. It's just there's always something going on. Uh, we have the night room. Oh, we got to turn off the lights for that. Let's turn off the lights while we're in here, actually. Let's kind of turn them off while we're in here. Because it looks like there's some lighting. There is some lighting. Very nice. Oh, I love the red and everything. What is that? Oh, it's, um, what the heck are these things called? Nylmon. I almost called it Gariel, but yeah. <clears throat> very, very cool. And it goes, like, all the way back that way. Yeah, this is a giant, um, Nile monitor there. Yeah, the colored lights. Aren't those great? Wow, really good job, Lucas. Ooh, look at the heat lamp. Oh, that's always such a good idea. I love when people do that. A lot of times I'll see people like make the entire exhibit like red, but I like what you did here with the little heat lamp uh, structure over there. Do, 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 do. Sounds good, Caleb. We will take a look at them uh, next week. Uh, so be sure to hang out with us next week to hang out. <laughs> look at the snail in there uh, next week so we can uh, tour it with you there. I, I don't think I've really used the snails before, but I didn't know that they went up on the glass like that. That's such a cool little uh, animation or little feature right there. I mean, if I turn this way and come back, it might be gone. Um, but yeah, I've never seen the snails up on the glass like that. If only it moved and it left like a trail. Wouldn't it, that, there's a thing, right? Like what if it moved across and left like a yellow trail that the zookeepers actually had to like clean up? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Let's head into the night room here. Oh, and there's, there was one last thing. We have our lemurs, little lemur dudes. Do, 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 do. Hey, Plastic Swans, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Martin. 
Plastic Swans, uh, you were uh, tour, uh, touring, streaming today, weren't you? Are you about to stream? If I remember right. It's a busy day for Planet Zoo and uh, stuff like that streams. Here we have, what is it, uh, Armadillo? No, it's, uh, yeah. No. What the heck is this thing called? Aardvark. <laughs> God dang it. Do, 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 do. Little exhibits in here. Can't fully tell what's... I like how you boxed off the exhibits, though. Really good idea with that. Um, the exhibit boxes are so tall. They're like four meters tall, which is ridiculous. So kind of um, spacing down and blocking out the uh, windows and everything to kind of just have like uh, little views into it like, makes it look so much better. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Very good there. So I think that brings us right back out. Cool. Let's head on out. It has started to rain. It has started to rain a little bit. You know, we're going to go ahead and turn it to... I want to see the zoo in all of its glory there. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, oh, translucent pieces. That'd be cool, right? Yeah. Signs on stream later, or I could uh, stick around here and work on some other stuff. Ooh, sign stream. You're good at those sign streams. I can't believe what you get done in a stream with your signs there. Oh, like, look, look at this little... This all the habitats are so, like, cozy, right? I mean, if you, like... Obviously, they're not going to be the greatest, I guess, for the welfare, quote-unquote, of the game. But just the way that they look, um, it just looks so zoo-like. I like how, just how compact it all is. This reminds me of that old zoo style here. Yeah, super cozy. Yep, yep. And all the uh, the steps and the concrete use and everything, or the plaster use, really, really good. What's in here? What do we have in here? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, ho, ho. Um, that might not be the best idea. <coughs> Excuse me. I sucked in some dust. Very nice. Let's go over here. We have a little savanna. Oh, look at the savanna. And see how it's just like walled in? I love that. I just, I love how, yeah, again, just old zoo it looks. Or um, just kind of traditional zoo it looks there. But yeah, really cool with the savanna habitat there. And remember, this is a micro zoo, right? So they only had a very limited amount of space to work in. So keep that in mind. It's not, a lot of it's not that they didn't want to make a bigger habitat. It was just cramming it full of, uh... Uh, animals there for the most part in the very very extremely limited space they have <gasps> Jesus Jesus Buffalo Jesus Buffalo is this really the best way do you think this is like the best way to do this I, I could think of a better way to walk than <laughs> trying to 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 kind of to Jesus walk on it there that doesn't look no he's like walking on like one one hoof on the water are you stuck, dude? Do you need a... I want to help. Oh, God. Do you need... Oh, no, he's good. Oh, okay. Yep. Nope, just take it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, just... No, that's not how we... And we're off. We're good now. <laughs> what? <the? laughs> that... that I, are you okay? Is your paw okay or your hoof? Like, that looked traumatic, my friend. Are you, are you dazed and confused right now? You look a bit dazed and confused. Your fur is kind of going crazy, I'll tell you that much, but... Oh, you're, 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 uh, you're scared shitless. Okay, cool, let's go, let's move on. <laughs> uh, he needs a little step area. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, holy cow. I've never seen that before. Uh, let's head up here with this little, uh, oh, a little indoor area. Has a little line set up for your food court. Oh, that's very nice, I like that. Oh, look at the little backdrop here. Very Lion King-esque. Every day he shuffle and shuffle and... <laughs> yes. Yep, exactly. Awesome. Let's see over here. We have... What do we have? Cappuccino monkeys. We love our cappuccino monkeys. Oh, no. Don't shoot them. Oh. How, how did you shoot the cappuccino monkey through the glass? They have the hardest darts in the world. They literally have the hardest darts in the world to sedate those monkeys. Ooh, I love the little interior here. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, that was a wildebeest. What did I say? Well, whatever I said, yeah, wildebeest. <laughs> oh, and we have another interior here for... Oh, the jaguars. Look, we have a black one here. Black jaguar. Very nice. Like that. Like how the walls are all the temple pieces. That's so cool. What's up, banana? How you doing, Savannah, banana, 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 banana? <laughs> uh, we have some of the doll sheep over here. Very lovely. They have a little barn as well. Nice. 
Oh, I love the wall work, right? Yeah. I'm gonna show you all the wall work. Uh, little bison and pronghorn. Again, they're little micro exhibits, but they work so well. I know, like, you know, as far as size go, it's not gonna be the best or whatever, but I mean, at this rate, who cares? It looks, it looks so nice. I just love how everything is just squeezed together. It's like Tetris. This is basically like Tetris. What's in here? Oh, the Japanese monkeys. Oh, they're inside with the Japanese monkeys. Aren't these things like vicious? <laughs> I like that. Nice. And then uh, looks like the last little thing here is some right. Oh yeah, rhinos. Yeah, there you go, rhinos. Flipping over the big uh, wheel structure there. Man, everything just like came together, and nudged in so nicely here. Oh, I think I missed this. What do we have? What do we have? Oh yeah, the red pandas and stuff, okay. Oh, there it is, the snow leopard. Blend it in. Nice, so awesome, cool. But yeah, look at look at how uh, much they crammed in there from an above view, you can kind of see again, it reminds me so much of like Tetris. You have your Africa house over here. Oh, do we miss something over here? Do we miss an interior, interior over here? We did, ah, ha ha. Big uh, as a reptile house. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, glad we saw that there. Little underwater area here. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is an alligator now. This is an alligator. It's supposed to be a crocodile in the game. Oh, I think it kind of stuck there. But we have the alligator mod installed. Very nice. Let's see here. Over here we have um, gharials. Awesome. Yeah, the two-headed alligator. It's a new species. It's a new species. Oh, really good use of the new uh, aquatic set um, backdrop piece there. Let's see Komodo dragon. And then we pop out here. Oh man, that's so cool. Yeah, again, just look at this from above. And I like your little harbor thing that you have going on here. That's really good. But yeah, there you go. So there is, um, again, so there's the reptile house in the middle. Uh, bye, Linda. Have a good one, buddy. We'll talk at you later. Um, you have the Africa house. And man, that is just so cool. That is so cool. That's a 2D option for the... Oh, is it? Oh, my bad. I thought that was the new um, aquatic set uh, backdrop. Cool. That's good to know. I, I never messed with that, really. Um, there are bears in the corner. They miss bears. This corner. Ah, yes, we did miss the bears there. Very, very cool. Awesome. So yeah, as always, everyone, uh, be sure to go check that out because I'm sure there's a few other little details in places that I have missed. Uh, but yeah, it is really cool. I, I would go into Tejid Cam. I would go into. I would click on a guest or something like that. Yeah, and, and go into Tejid Cam and walk around this zoo. Uh, I bet you'd have a great time. This walk, you'd see something all the time. So there would always be uh, something to be looking at in this zoo there. So yeah, definitely go check that out, everyone. Uh, like it, comment on it, subscribe to it, all that fun stuff. Thanks so much, uh, Lucas, for uh, sending that over. Yeah, yeah, the cow. We don't see too many compact zoos. We don't see too many compact zoos. Maybe we'll have to do a competition for that or something. I've been thinking about doing competitions. I think that could be kind of fun for uh, for us to do there. Uh, let me go ahead and start to unsubscribe to some stuff so we can keep track of what's going on there. So, um, yeah, good job there, Lucas. Good job, Heather. Yeah, let's add that to our list too. <laughs> I'm gonna make I'm gonna work Heather. <laughs> she's our she are, she's already a, a mod for like 85 different Planet Zoo channels, and I'm just sitting here like, hey Heather, come up, let's come up with some more ideas, some more stuff to put on your plate. Um <laughs> next thing we're gonna look at here is going to be oh yeah, let's go into Seabrises here. I've been excited to check out Seabrises. Yeah, very nice. Yep, very good job. All right, oh wow, this loaded a lot quicker than I thought it was going to, to be honest with you. All right, so this is from Seabris. Uh, you and I stand um, playing Among Us this weekend. Uh, there, Silver X, another where? What? Oh, we're gonna play uh, Among Us? Okay. When? It's already the weekend. <laughs> it's already the weekend, we can, and we're busy all day today. Um, let's see, what do we have to work with? Okay, cool, here we go. So, 
This is from community member Sebris, who comments all the time. They should be, there we are, there's Sebris. Uh, Sebris, I think, said, got inspired from um, Estan and I's little build that we were doing and wanted to build their own kind of swampy build there. So, uh, yeah, this is a just a quick little one-off uh, little swamp build here. And it, um, the little screenshots that you shared turned, or it looked like it turned out so, so nice. Let's get some nice lighting here, then we'll kind of go for some atmosphere, atmospheric lighting um, to kind of check it out there. So, yeah. Yeah, look at the uh, awesome foliage that we have going on here. I I've taken a lot of inspiration from uh, Seabrus here. Um, yeah, all the little reds and stuff like that, all just the different foliage put in here. It looks so, so nice. It's very, very swamp-like. Extremely swamp-like. So yeah, I think that's that's pretty much what it is, right? You just made like, you wanted to make like a little uh, swamp area. I think it keeps going this way. So it's like, um, uh, yeah, I'm good, I'm glad. But as yeah, you come back through here, let's follow the, uh, oh, there it is, I knew there was a little stream. There we go. Have a little thing going down here. Little uh, stream. Love all the little fog bits, awesome. And then we kind of pop out over this way. And look, oh man, I want you to keep going. All right, you officially have to keep going, Seabrus. <laughs> you know, I want to keep following the, the uh, I want to keep following this little stream. I want to keep following the river. I need to keep following it. So you are now hereby commissioned to continue doing it. Continue, oh, Cat Lady Games. Oh my gosh, you're not Cat Lady Simmer anymore because you play games altogether. How the heck are you doing, my friend? It's so good to see you. Congrats on the recent Newlywood there as well. Uh, so good to see you, my friend. It's been, a, it's been a little while. I can't even I can't even say anything bad about you right now. I can't even jab at you because I'm I'm happy to see you. Uh, this is amazing, Seabrus. I love this. Let's get some at atmospheric lighting going and maybe some rain. Let's get some stuff going here. Yeah, right about there. Right about there. Boom. Doo -doo -doo. Nice. Here we go. All right, let's head down there. Oh, we need some gators in here. We need some gators. Oh man, this looks so good. Those of you that don't know Cat Lady Games, uh, me and Cat Lady Games, Miss Emily there, have been buddies for a long time. Back from the Twitch days, when I used to stream on Twitch, we were uh, good friends and everything. And yeah, she's been with the channel for a long time, so it's always good to see her hang out there. So uh, awesome job, Seabrus, this is awesome. I love your use of the fog and all the different foliage and everything, this is amazing. So you must, you have to keep building, you must. You want Shrek to pop out? Yes. Um, am I everywhere lately because of the wedding? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I see. I saw the issues you had with David David's bridal and stuff like that. Hire someone else to play in it? Yeah, no kidding. Even a small little thing can turn into a big ugh, pain in the butt. But yeah, no, good to see you, buddy. Um, all right. Awesome job there from Seabrus. And I really do hope we get to see some future stuff there from that file. So let's go ahead and head into Wakefield Zoo. Version 2 from Bold. We're going to go ahead and check it out from Bold here. So we've seen the entranceway from SDAM, but I believe that we have a little bit more in this file here. So um, hopefully Bold is hanging out still to uh, see us showing off the zoo. So um, yeah, Bold has been showing pictures of this on Twitter and other sites, and it looks freaking amazing. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to show this all off there. Some animals in there? Yeah, I think that's what's missing. Get, get a few animals in there? Yeah. Is it really already? Well, damn. Well, damn. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to show it off because uh, I like that. I think that that's good. So I commissioned Mr. Lion Rider here. And we'll, we're going to take a look at this. Just a second. I want to uh, see a good spot to start here. I think this is the entranceway, right? Oh, over here it is. Okay. So before we do this, here we go. We'll get a nice shot right here. A lot of you have seen this from uh, SDN. But yeah, I'm going to show off um, members. You're getting emotes. I went ahead and... Oh, this is so nice looking. Holy shnikes. Um, the right side of the Jaguar is not finished just yet. Just ignore that. So look at that specifically. Got it. Um, but let's go ahead. And we're going to take a field trip real quick over to Discord because I have commissioned Lion Rider to oh my gosh these are great okay these are these are fucking great 
<laughs> well worth it. Um, to make emotes for us. We're gonna do uh, emotes there. So here we go. Let's take a field trip. Bam! And bam. So there's a, there's a little preview there of some of the emotes that we have. You can see some of the ones in the background too. A little sassy Drew. Looks like a little Frank is popping up there too. So there's a quick little woo of members what you're gonna be getting to use in the next stream there. So, <laughs> um, awesome. Well, let's go ahead and check out Wakefield Zoo. Uh, yeah, the sassy, <laughs> the sassy Drew one made me crack the fuck up. So we'll have those going in the next, um, the next stream there, which is gonna be in like right after this one. <laughs> So cool. Let's go ahead and check out Wakefield here. Version two, still a work in progress. Uh, this is amazing so far. Just right off the bat, just like, come on, come on. This is every, this is just, yeah, it seems like everyone's liking them. That's kind of wanted to show it off real quick to uh, Lion Rider just to see if uh, everyone was digging on them and they are. So uh, this is awesome. This, okay, I had to know what you use for this. Oh, duh. Yeah, the plaster. Yep, that sounds good. Um, so that is awesome. The green roof is spectacular. Uh, I know I've seen this like a few times through like pictures and everything like that, but like it's just so awesome to actually be in here and checking it out. Like all the details are just like. Ugh. <laughs> exit only. No one go in there. It's an exit only. Now, did you have inspiration, Bold? Did you have inspiration here um, for this entranceway? And if so, what was it? So join the herd, everyone. Connect membership. Um, you get the an inspire membership. There you go. Different memberships. So awesome, awesome. This is just oh, yeah, right, Savannah. This is just crazy good. Bold has just been hiding out in the rafters, not telling us that she's just this amazing planet zoo builder. Just you know, what the heck. Or maybe they had like a, another name and we just didn't know it. Okay, we're gonna go into Zootique first. You will marry the zoo. <laughs> just your brain? Well, your brain needs a raise. Your brain needs a raise. Oh, this is so cool. Holy shnikes. Just, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Oh, look at the planet zoo symbol. <laughs> Oh, this is really good. I feel like I've seen, um, I think just Gorn or someone else did their tree similar to this. And it reminds me of like, uh, like old, um, what is it? Like, uh, Toys R Us. Like Toys R Us would do this stuff because race car has become a race car designer, everyone. Holy smoke, Rooney's race car saw that sassy Drew emo and was like, I have to. I have to. So yeah, everyone, there we go. Hearts and GGs and claps and all the fun stuff there um, for race car becoming a designer of race cars. He, if anyone has a race car design, he's the one that's going to do it there. Holy cow. Two amazing things there. So thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate the heck out of you. <laughs> Welcome aboard to the Drew Crew. You did a thing. You're green now. You're green with a green bear. And in a month, you'll have blue with a blue um, giraffe there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, you know what I love about this? Uh, we'll get to this in the background. I love that you use kind of an off green kind of thing. It It's, everyone's using the blue there, but um, the green is like, or aqua, aqua, yeah. That's some blue ass water. <laughs> uh, again, thanks because appreciate you, buddy. You're, our, you're, I just realized you're one of two designers. We only have two designer, uh, designer levels. That's awesome. Looks so tropical, right? Doesn't it just feel so lush? I love it. Oh, it's so good. You got the drain down there and everything. <laughs> Someone spilled Mountain Dew into the pond. Nice. Oh, that's so good there. And then, yeah, obviously back here we have just this amazing weenie here. And don't uh, don't don't kid yourselves. This is a weenie. Remember we were kind of oh, oh I'm in I'm in the gift shop. Remember we were kind of talking about weenies and stuff like that and theme parks and all that stuff. How, what am I in? <laughs> There we go, man. There we go. Uh, that is totally a weenie. Something that catches your eye and draws you to it. Yeah, that is that's totally it right there. This is the this is one of the most amazing weenies I've ever seen. Quote it, Drew, twenty twenty one. So yeah, I love the pastel kind of Miami vibe that we have going on here. I don't know if that was like your influence. Like, uh, was it South Beach? Like South Beach, Miami, uh, with the pastels and stuff. But totally. 
Uh, could totally see that going on there. Did you make this? I didn't even realize this. Holy shnikes, did you make this too? What the fuck? That flamingo looking thing there. Jeez. Uh, eat, drink, refresh. I love the, the waviness right here. That is so nice. That's a big pink weenie. <laughs> yes. Yes. Where'd these signs come from? Wait. How'd you make these signs? Are these like in-game signs that I didn't... Oh, it, it's an in-game sign. Okay, I was gonna say, did you actually make that sign? Um, Mountain Dew Baja... Oh, it is Baja Blast! Yeah, the mosaic's really good, so... Woo! You're not that cool? Okay, okay. <laughs> um, that's a really good use of it, though, so... Awesome. Okay, let's back up this way. Let's see. Is this just the backstage building for the Floms? For the Flamings? Yes, it is, but it looks awesome still. Um, cool. Let's back out here and see, because I think, yes, over this way with some stuff. I'll have our little carts and everything. Very nice. And as we come in here, ooh, we have the jungle trail. Wah, 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 wah. Do, do, do. As long as it doesn't get me demonetized, because <laughs> I might have to have you cover up things like John and Mike did when they showed off Penn Island. I might have you cover up things and not get demonetized. <laughs> uh, okay, so over here, you, now here's where you said the Jaguar was um, not complete, so we'll uh, keep note of that. But here's our tapiars. Ooh, I love the, the weeping willow over there. Oh, their bedding is right here. Oh, that's so neat. That's so neat. I love that. Let's see here. Then over here we have, ooh... Maybe some otters. Oh, I love the underwater area here. Oh, I love the kelp. I don't know if you made this or got the kelp off the workshop because I just saw that someone uploaded kelp on the workshop. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to put this all in my underwater areas too. Oh, that's so, such a good underwater area. Oh, the capybaras. We got to get you modded. We got to get you Nicholas Lion Rider's mod here. Uh, yeah, Lion Rider has an awesome uh, capybara mod. That I, can't, I don't know what it replaces though. I can't remember what it replaces, but yeah, we'll have to get you hooked up there. Oh, anyone got to use the wizard? Anyone got to use the wizard there? Hey, Brody, what's up there, buddy? Planet Coaster Showcase? We might do like a monthly Planet Coaster Showcase if we get enough things. I don't think we can justify a weekly one at the moment, but maybe like a monthly one. Or if it's like a special thing like Penn Island or something like that is done, then we might do like a special Planet Coaster Showcase type thing. Uh, ooh, I like the little steps that go up here. This kind of rounds about. And again, you know, we're starting to get into areas that aren't fully complete, so just keep that in mind. This is a work in progress zoo, but still, it's... Ooh, look at the anteaters here. I like the uh, the train changes and all the temple pieces up back there. Female reindeer? It, that's where it uh, does. Uh, Arizona wants it's built out enough worth showing. I would love that, Domez. Yes, I would love that. I know that, uh, yeah, there's you, because and a few other people who are doing some awesome projects that would be great to uh, showcase there. So, uh, ooh, I love this anteater um, habitat, though. Went full temple theme with it. Yeah, bold. Really good job. Really, really good job. Send Oak Valley for sure, for sure. Here's the top of the... Um... Now, can they go through here? Oh, I remember you were working on, you were working on this and showing it off. And you were saying the guests can't go through there, but who cares? Because screw the guests. <laughs> screw the guests anyways, right? Um, so yeah, the otters can go underneath this and everything like that. But unfortunately, the guests can't walk over this to get this to actually work how this does. Um... But that's okay, because this looks so good. Could you imagine just, like, sitting here and look down and you see some otters underneath their feet? Uh, and again, the reason it doesn't work is because it puts out this big <laughs> concrete structure. Um, so, eh, you know. You know. Do, 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 do. But, yeah, the fact that the otters can swim underneath there is just, like, so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, let's see above view of the otter habitat there. Because, yeah, look at that. It goes all the way around like that. That is awesome. A null path barrier, yeah. Yeah, I know uh, modders have started to kind of do that a little bit, but an official null path would be amazing. And that's kind of one of those things, like, if the if the modders are starting to do that in Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo and stuff, you'd hope that it's been such a big request from people that um, hopefully, uh, yeah, the official team would do it there. You know what would be cool right here, Bold? In... I'm just wondering if it, I'm kind of going to be a jerk right now because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take over the build just slightly. Um, you know what would be cool to put here, and I always forget about it, is... Um, shoot. Where is it? I think it's awnings and this. Is the bubble. Dang it. 
that you can maybe hide. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> it's under the classic set. That's what it is. Theme, classic. Where is that? Here. This thing. The classic arbor arch. I don't know if... Like, I'm just I'm just spitballing real quick. I sometimes do this with, like, work in progress use. This might be too big. But I don't do Like, oh, it might not be. But you could, like, hide this. And it would be, like, a bubble thing. Where they could actually, like, bubble into... Like, they guess could go inside here. That could be kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, that might be, yeah, that might be kind of neat. I always forget that piece exists. Actually, you know, real quick, I need to go favorite that piece. I always forget that piece exists. Um, I just, I just remember because we just did the tunnels, the underwater tunnels. So, um, anyways, I didn't mean to take over your build there or anything, but I'm glad you like that idea. <laughs> so, but yeah, anyways, let's keep going on. I, I don't like to do that. I don't like to take over people's builds, but if an inspiration strikes, you gotta take advantage of it, right? Oh, I love your uh, shade structure through here. Really, really nice there. What do we have here? What do we have? Let's see. Is this just more otters? Oh, this is more otters. My bad. <laughs> We're still in the otters. Um, over here, looks like we have some caimans. Looks like a thing for Disneyland. There you go. There you go. Oh, we have a little aviary, it looks like. Um, oh, I did this too with one of my aviaries where you put the ropes down. Because, yeah, you see this all the time, right? With the, uh, yeah, there you go. You forget the classic theme exists. <laughs> uh, how you doing, by the way, goat? Good to see you. Oh, look at this aviator here. Now, are these Drox birds or ZZ's birds or a combination of both, maybe? Uh, they both do such an amazing job that I can't tell sometimes. Oh, I like your little fountain over here. Look at the little bird fountain. That's awesome. See everyone's ideas and steal their creativity. Yeah, no, it's just um, they're Drox. Okay, thanks, ZZ. <laughs> it's, it's awesome to uh, bounce ideas off everyone, right? Absolutely. Oh, and here's another instance of... Oh, dang, Bold. You almost might want to download this mod. <laughs> this replaces the Australia set um, wall set. So this is supposed to look like the Australia set. But, um, yeah, I have the mod in. And honestly, Bold, this kind of looks nice. We got to get you modded. <laughs> we got to get you modded. It's a little bit of both. Nice. Nice. So, okay, cool. We have the... Um, we have the Caymans over here hanging out. Planning to do those mods? Yes, they do. We're going to show off a few more, a uh, few mods today, actually. But yep, it does have mods unofficially. Oh, I love your little Cayman pond over here. I love your little Cayman pond. All of them hanging out. Yep, if you go to Nexus Mods, N-E-X-U-S Mods Planet Zoo, you will find some mods there that you can uh, install there. All right, I'm getting lost, which is awesome because I always get lost in real zoos. Oh, I see where we're at. Okay, I see where we're at. Uh, I'm the only person with the Australian replacement. Oh, that's right. You did that specifically. Yeah, but if Bold wants, I can send it over. There you go. <clears throat> it kind of looks nicer modded. It does look really nice. It kind of gives it that... Uh, I think it kind of gives it that feel that you're kind of going for a little bit more with the the rugged, like, rundown, um, like, base camp, or I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, Nexus is still going, Kayla. Yep, Nexus Mods is still up and going. So, uh, that's that's the way we're doing it still. <laughs> okay, over here. What do we have here? Oh, the cappuccinos! You've got so much more done than I thought you did, Bold. I, I honestly thought you were still kind of in the entrance area, but this whole South America area, or Jungle Trek, is so well done. I didn't realize you had so much done. Oh, the Singapore Zoo. Um, Dan Creates, another awesome content creator, is... Um, oh, and it goes over here to a little hut. Um, is making the big tower structures from uh, Singapore Zoo right now. Ah, a Nike. Yeah, what the heck, Bold? It's all Nike in here. <laughs> I like that you put that in there. That was adorable. <laughs> uh. Let's see. And then up over this way. What else? Oh, here's our Jaguar. This is where you're saying that it was um, kind of a, l a little less done. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. It's a little, um, the infrastructure is in. The infrastructure is in, but um, you have a little bit more detail work to go there, but it still looks amazing so far. The bits that you have done over this way, holy cow. Wait, 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 there's a little tunnel. Oh, there's a whole thing. I can't see. There we go, okay. Uh, <laughs> And go in. You knew I was gonna go in there. Just a little present for me. Aw, 
Aw, thanks for telling me it was Nakey. <laughs> I love, oh, look at the little views here. Ooh, all the stacked rocks there. Fantastic. That's fantastic. There we go. Um, I, th I feel like I've seen the stacked rocks um, a few other times. Um, but I haven't seen them with like all the different kind of colors putting in there. So, that many people watching, let's make sure we're throwing links out then. Let, let's make sure we're throwing a link out so that people can uh, be sure to um, download the zoo. I, I can't tell when the last time we threw a link out there was. So, uh, let's make sure if we have a, a peak concurrent viewers kind of thing, we get some links thrown out for this zoo and stuff like that. So, yeah, everyone that's watching, please be sure to go down below in the description there and um, download this zoo. This is, um, I'm going to botch the name. Do, 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 do. Nickel Wakefield Zoo version two by Bold there. So um, I may have missed a few things, uh, but yeah, make sure to go in and walk around yourself and see all the detail work there. Still um, slightly smaller zoo. So those of you that maybe don't have the best computer in the world. Oh, there's some other stuff over here. Oh, you made a little stream and stuff. Um, but anyways, if you don't have like the greatest computer in the world, um, you can still run this, no problem there. Um, and yeah, kind of keep up to date with what they are doing there. And also be sure to go down, like, comment, all that fun stuff on the Steam page. And big, big thanks to Bold there. Thanks so much for um, submitting this. This is awesome. This is amazing. So um, awesome. We have one more zoo, one more zoo to look through. And that is by Rem actually. So awesome there. There's a cafe and the big falls done and that's it. And that is it. Yeah, little nooks and crannies there. Nice, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, so um, awesome. Let's go ahead in here and subscribe from there. And unnamed zoo, which here we go. Okay, good, I was hoping Rem was here. Yes, Rem is here. This is uh, half an unnamed zoo. Rem put this in last week when we were still, uh, we were in the middle of the stream, I think. So yeah, this is a carryover from last week there. Uh, and yeah, just like the name suggests, this is a half made zoo. So we'll get, just kind of get an idea of what they're kind of going for here. So let's see, I always like to try and find the entrance area, kind of go in um, there. Where be your entrance, matey? Here? This looks like, ooh, yeah, I think this is the uh, entrance here. I think this is the entrance over here. So awesome. All right, let's go ahead and here and check out half unnamed zoo. And when it has a name, it will be half that named zoo. So <laughs> awesome. So look at this awesome little entrance here. All the, um, what are these? These are the uh, Brazilian nut trees, right? Kind of sunk down. Yeah, look at the Brazilian nut tree sunk way down there. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Uh, but love all the uh, um, little picnic benches and the overhead uh, kind of canopy that we have going on here. The pergola looks awesome. Really good job there. Oh, we have Elephant Cafe. Ever, anyone want to get an elephant burger? I'm getting hungry enough to get an elephant burger, I think. Very nice. We have the zoo administration, of course. Looks like we have some uh, glass here, so we're going to be doing some interior work. Can't wait to look at that when it's all finished up. Uh, really nice little entrance area to Elephant Cafe. Nice, 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 nice. Cool. We have the... Oh, cool. Uh, the Pantanal. This was done, yeah, oh, good job. Uh, good on ya, uh, uh, R.E.M. Rem, for putting uh, Eben. Yeah, Eben made this sign there. This is like the entranceway to uh, the Houston Zoo, right? Their uh, Pantanal habitat that they just opened this year. Uh, this looks just like it. That's a really, really good recreation. And again, yeah, good shout out to Eben for making that uh, sign for Mass Bandit a little bit there. So yeah, really good job there. Let's head on in. Oh, did you just do a full-on recreation of the Houston Zoo um, Pantanal exhibit? Oh, so good! Look at the uh, the Jeep uh, sunk down there. That's so good. <laughs> awesome. Let's keep moving on here. Oh, lovely waterfall. Good use of the new um, waterfall uh, piece from the aquatic pack. Look at the little caiman hiding in there. There we go. So we probably have some caimans over this way. Ooh, looks like we're gonna be standing up over there. No, no, you know what this is? Uh, this is supposed to be one of those slides where the um, otters could come slide down into the next part here. So very good. Have a little bit of a uh, multi-tiered layout there. See how that works? Very nice. And then we come over this way. Let's go up top first before we go to the mangrove discovery. That's a cool name. Let's go up top here. Um, oh, Ricey sign! I spot a Ricey sign! <laughs> Shout out to Ricey there. But look, oh, I, I would sit here all day. 
I would totally sit here all day and just kind of look over the um, otters and everything like that. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and into the mangrove discovery area here. Um, ooh, look, you got a little heat lamp and everything like that. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, I love that overlook. I love the little little nooks like like that. Little areas where you can just kind of sit down and relax and hang out. Oh, look at the transition here into like the desert area. Oh, good use of the um, kind of tiered down with the pooling there. That's awesome. What a ball. Love this little desert transition here. Very nice. What do we have here? Oh, Caymans. Here's our Caymans. Here are the Caymans there. Have a good one, Moonlight. We'll talk at you later. Don't forget, we're going to be live most of the day today doing Planet Zoo Showcase, then some new city, and then watching Tremors tonight with the community there. So it'll be a full day on the channel. Oh, look at this little overlook we have here. Oh, with the new education uh, sign there. I'm, I'm curious, can they, can they throw food in this way? Water obstructs food throw. Well, that's so weird. you think it would count it like over here. But uh, anyways, you can kind of still do it there. <clears throat> Very cool. I love the little pond. And this is something I noted on someone's build last week. Um, that just putting the little ponds everywhere or little uh, little things like that, it adds a lot to uh, builds there. So cool. There's the little trek there. So we went through that way. Oh, yeah. We went all back through there. Awesome. Let's go over this way to Africa Rocks. What zoo is it that does Africa Rocks? Is it uh, the San Diego Zoo? It's San Diego Zoo, right? That has Africa Rocks. So, hey, Sumi, how are we doing there? San Diego, okay, cool. So might be taking some uh, San Diego Zoo uh, references here. I've never been before. So if, if you've been to the San Diego Zoo and this kind of looks a little bit familiar there. Oh, Aardvark, Aardvark. Um, if this looks uh, familiar, definitely um, shout it out that you know they did a pretty good job at a, an inspiration or recreation. I love the gardening beforehand here. We always talk about that, right? About doing the uh, habitat fence essentially, then like maybe a little bit of a separation with like gardening or grass, or whatever, and then doing like the guest fence. That's a great um, representation of that right there. So your three uh, or your two different fence system there. Let's go in here. Yeah, the barriers are fantastic. Good use of the new aquatic pack um, umbrellas here. Get this little um, overlook. Uh, so here, is this for the aardvark still? Oh yeah, they can climb up here. Come on up, little dude. Come on, Big Willy. Come on, Willy, you can do it, Big Willy. I believe in you. Oh, what a big guy. What a big boy. Coming up to say hi. You little man. <laughs> oh, that's enough. He's like, and here's my butt, and I'm out of here. So <laughs> that's awesome. All right, let's head on down to, actually, I think, um, I think, think, think with my little thinker. Yeah, that's pretty much looks like we're, uh, oh, there's a little bit over here that I wanna show off, it looks like. <laughs> How are we doing, Omega Studios? Good to see ya. Coming over here, what a cute little buddy, right? Oh, I like this. Look at this little uh, entrance area here. Chief Beef, the beefiest of the chiefest. The chiefest of all the beefiest. Good use of, um, we were kind of talking about the classic set earlier, good use of mixing the classic set with the African set. And that's a big thing too. A lot of us are mentioning that we don't use the classic set much. Guilty as charged as well. Um, but yeah, intermixing of theming and everything. And not only that, intermixing of habitat species or habitat items as well. Look at this. This is from the, uh, this is for the lions, right? The scratching post. Uh, Estan is really good at that, right? Estan Wolf, he's really good at throwing, uh, basically throwing the uh, piece library at the wall and seeing what sticks, so. Um, yeah, this is an Estan build. Is this Estan? Oh, they are Estans. <laughs> I can I can spot a damn Estan build a mile away. I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm around that knucklehead so much, I can spot an Estan build a mile away. <laughs> I was about to say, dang, R.E.M., you just, you like took some major inspiration from uh, Estan there. But no, that's a good use of them though. That's a good placement for them. That's fantastic. So, and then, oh, that little info uh, section over there. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so yeah, again, that is half unnamed zoo there. Um, 
And yeah, we can't wait to see this kind of filled out even more in the future there. So thanks so much for um, submitting there. And yes, if you would like to submit anything there, we uh, look at full parks, half done parks, um, trees that you made, custom trees, uh, whatever, whatever. We will look at it there. So go ahead and join the Discord. Come on over and hang out with us and everything there. So let's unsubscribe from that. I, we're good. We're good. We can move on to the last little bit there so there's all the full zoos for the day so let's give one last round of applause one last gg one last hard eyes whatever you want to do there for all of the amazing zoos that we saw today um, whether they were half built full built work in progress you name it um yeah let's give some final who's there so this next part of the community showcase is going to focus on items that you can throw into your zoo right the heck now and I tried to separate it out in the description a bit. So if you look at the description down below, I tried to separate it out where the first section is what we're gonna see now. So pieces that you can uh, place in your zoo, just willy nilly. The second part are the completed zoo projects that you have to download and uh, jump into. And then the third part are the mods. So hopefully um, y'all can kind of decipher through everything there. So the first thing here that we have to look through, ha 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 ha, it's from Just Goron. Ha ha ha. I laugh because whenever Just Goron submits something, you're just, you're, you're gonna be amazed. So first thing here is the plastic soup, um, the plastic soup education signs and just, what the, f what the hell? <laughs> this is like, holy cow. Just look at the detail here. And just, again, mind you, none of this is in-game signs, right? If you're kind of looking at this like, wait, what? What's These are just signs that they typed on. No, these are all custom. This is all custom. Everything is custom. So that's why I'm sitting here going, uh, everybody <laughs> just yeah this is sign making to an oomph degree couldn't hide them right and speaking of just go on go ahead and link your channel as well just go has an awesome youtube channel where they stream uh making these signs so if you want to get some inspiration on how to make signs amazingly well uh they stream this on their channel um quite often actually so you can kind of sit there and you know maybe tweak their brain a little bit um see how they do it and yeah learn for yourself a little bit there so the patience yeah that's that's about the time that i would flip my uh computer desk over so <laughs> that is an awesome one there um and next up we have staying with the signs here we have some just again oh these are updated aren't they i think these are updated signs that you had these in your zoo before but with the new pieces in game the new lettering pieces you were able to update these to what they are now and um you don't even need to have these out almost like you know how you have like the yeah, the um the gorilla leopard like yeah yeah it's so good that yeah i can tell I can tell that's a meerkat. I can tell that's a leopard. You know, I can tell that's a chimpanzee. That is just amazing. So you got two different education signs there, the plastic soup education sign and the regular education sign for the Beaks Bergen, which is um, the zoo that Just Goran is recreating that all of this stuff is coming from. Uh, so there is that. And then right one more thing is the um, is the birdhouse here. It's the bird house. It's, it's a teeny tiny little burp house. And I've started to place this around Thornton. I've started to actually replace this, oopsie, with, um, I used to have, wait, I think just Gora, didn't you have the other bird house already? Um, but anyways, yeah, I've started to place this around Thornton Hills Zoo a lot because it is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I think Just Goran came into stream yesterday and was like, hey, that's my birdhouse. I was like, yes, it's amazing. So there are the three things from Just Goron. Um, and again, whenever Just Goron, kind of like creative games, whenever Just Goron uploads something, it's like, oh, I'm going to be able to use this. It's going to be a highly detailed, awesome piece. I'm going to be able to use this. So um, yeah, this is an updated version. Nice, nice. Very good. So very good. Awesome. Go, go there and uh, like, comment, subscribe. I mean, yeah, you can use that stuff, right? You can use that stuff in your zoo. Next up, we have a community favorite um, lately, a community regular at this point, which is DH Roof, Seth. Oh, Seth, I do have one bone to pick with you, and it's not that big a deal. But, but, Seth, my friend, when you upload your Steam, your blueprints to the workshop, um, like, let's say you're just saving it right here. When you name it here, name it the item that it is instead of naming it like G or like D4 or something like that. Because when I'm trying to find it and I type in like, 
Cause on uh, on Steam, you call it like Asia House or Asia something or or something like that. And I type it in, it doesn't come up because it comes up under the Steam name that you name it from here, if that makes sense. And I don't mean to call you out because other people have done this before, but um, it was a pain in the butt to have to find your items today, unfortunately. So just make sure you're naming the item what it actually is all the time. So it's the easiest to, um, easy, really easy to find basically. So anyways, the first one up here um, we have is the Asia Temple, the Asian Temple from Ruv. And this is, yeah, this is really, really good. This is really, really good. Um, uh, I think it's a habitat fully because I just saw the little glass pieces there. Yeah, there's, there's a little habitat down here um, that you can kind of look into. So yeah, that's all it is, Silver Fox. Yeah, I just, um, I, I didn't want to like make Rue feel like awkward or anything. It's just um, makes it easier for all of us involved in the future there. So uh, yeah, really, really um, awesome build there from uh, Rue there. So awesome. That is the Asian Temple. Then we have, next to it, we have the Small Greenhouse Zoo uh, entrance by Ruve as well, which is super, super nice. And it's really fun too. You know, what's been really cool to see is uh, Ruve keep getting better and better with their um, builds every single uh, week in and week out. It's been like three or four weeks straight of seeing uh, Ruve stuff. And I have to say, they've gotten just spectacularly better every single time. Um, and I love seeing when people, um, you know, improve kind of thing. You know, just kind of see them, uh, their skills improving and they're um, learning different things and stuff. So, yeah, really, really cool. I think that's a, a nice little uh, entranceway, a little uh, greenery and everything, a little tropic house. So, oh, excuse me. If you go to upload, it keeps it blank and it will copy what you wrote when you made it instead of typing it out twice. Ah, there you go. There you go. Uh, and then the next thing here is the Brachiosaurus diorama, and I thought this was adorable. <laughs> I thought this was super well done. Um, this is all the little foliage that you have going on here, and uh, yeah, it was, it was really nice, uh, nicely well done. This little uh, little Brachiosaurus thing, yeah, so cute, so cute. Yeah, no, that is that's really good advice from Kayla there. Yeah, so now you know. Um, and you don't, don't have to do that multiple times. So there you go. There are the three um, things there from uh, from uh, Ruv, and we appreciate you submitting us always. So yeah, there you go. The three different items. So cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. Ah, yes, we have from Level Wolf. We have from Level Wolf. So uh, big shout out to Level Wolf first off because they did a pitch perfect job, a spectacular job even, on their blueprints. Let me show you what I mean. Um, what is it called here? Large King Penguin. So what I mean by doing an awesome job with their blueprints, and I mentioned this before, but if you can, when you're doing big habitats like this, you see the signs here, the hide me, show me, and you know, put thick glass barrier down, and in here it tells you, you know, put glass down, and this is where guest path goes. The more that you can, um, where is it? Here it is, yeah. The more that you can, and I mean this in the best way possible, the more that you can dumb proof your build, the better. The more that you're not making your people guess is just spectacular. So big shout out right first off for doing your blueprint that way, because it, it turned out really, really well that way. It was such a pain to get it right. It is a pain to get it right. It is, yep. But um, very much so appreciated uh, to uh, when you do that kind of stuff. So the first one that we're gonna look at here is the walkthrough South American rainforest building. And I can't believe that you can just place this into your zoo. Like look at the detail from the outside. I can't believe that this is under 4,000 pieces. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and head on in there. And I see your billboard is being used for something. Oh, it's perfect. I love it. I love it. Um. Okay, Martin, I'm gonna hide you just for a little bit for that, uh, because if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it, <laughs> basically. It's kind of a uh, something that you should learn when you're about five years old. If you don't have anything nice to say, keep it to yourself. <laughs> so, all right, let's head on in to the walkthrough here. And again, I can't believe that you can just kind of place this down throughout um it just in your zoo willy-nilly like uh so yeah let's take a look through here look at oh i love the big structure that you see here all the shadows and stuff like that so cool and as we come through here um there is a piece limit if you put it in habitat it's uh 8k or 4k isn't it i think it's 8,000 or 4,000 pieces inside habitat there is a piece limit though unless they changed it unless they did change it but um as far as i know it is 4k or 8k i believe Man, look at this. 
Yeah, I, the shadows, right? Yeah, they had such a good uh, detail. Hey, BC. How you doing there? I thought that was because race car. I kept seeing BC type, and I thought it was because race car. I don't, they have similar looking um, logos there. So my bad for not saying hi, BC. I thought you were already in here. <laughs> no limit insight, really? Well, today I learned 4K for making regular blueprints. Uh, habitats have no limit. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, so Haribo, good shouting out there. I didn't know that. That wasn't me. I know, but look at look at because I don't know why. At, at quick glance, the black and the red they just uh, kind of tie together. <laughs> so, um, put curved glass. Look at all the little signs here. Put curved glass barrier between trees and through rocks at the back. Fill with water to height of rock shelf. Manly move juvenile dwarf caimans in. Uh, guest path through here. Look at just all the little like telling you how to do things is so welcomed. It's so welcomed when you have these little intricate um, builds right here. So really, really good job there on your um, habitat or your indoor habitat build there. Yeah, yeah. So cool, let's head on to the next one here, which I tried to get this working a little bit. I think I flubbed something up though. Um, so, but this next one here is, let's see here, is called, yeah, the large uh, penguin habitat is the large penguin habitat. So yeah, I went ahead and followed the instructions here, put thick glass barriers along the rock. So I did that and um, then I raised it a bit, but I couldn't get level wolf for some reason. And I don't know, it might be a user error. The, it might be a me error, but I cannot for the life of me get the water to the right level. So um, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I, it's probably me, but yeah, I just can't get it working there. So, uh, but anyways, we have the penguins, pingos. Yep, there are the little penguins here. Um, and yeah, just awesome, awesome build here. Have the depth, the correct um, level here so they can go ahead and dive and everything. We even have a little interior section here. I didn't do the interior section, um, how it was supposed to be, but you can, we can use our imagination here, but great aquatic pack build so far. When you tried it in a different zoo, hmm, the water's, yeah, the water is a pain. You're, you're, you're not lying. You are not lying. So uh, again, really good use of the guest path through here. Yeah, just, you know, mapping it out for everyone. And same thing here, put glass barrier here, raise the barrier to the height of the wall uh, so you can get the um, water, you know, the um, habitat done upright. So really cool indoor area. And yeah, just overall two really, really cool um, builds there. Really, really cool builds. Even though the water doesn't get to the right height, you can just kind of easily, you know, we can just kind of take it and lower it down. That still works there, no problem at all. So uh, yeah, two big habitats you can go ahead and throw right on into your zoos right now and get them going there. So big shout out to Level Wolf there. Go ahead and like and comment and all that fun stuff there on that build there. <clears throat> <laughs> comes with it what's up earl how you doing buddy always good to see you so glad that you were able to make it so yeah look at the statues you have a little scene here i kind of skipped over that didn't i look, look at the little uh scene here the little statues <laughs> that's so good uh nice so next up next up we have from peter peter was here earlier is still here uh, yeah, the water and the habitat blueprints is impossible to deal with. Yeah, I think that's part of the bugginess that's going on right now. So here we have the do, 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 Nickelodeon, the Lion Lookout viewing area from Peter Leader, from Mr. Peter Leader. So a nice lot. And now it's specified to be a Lion Lookout, but you know, I mean, it does look pretty good like a Lion Lookout, doesn't it? But you could totally use this for just kind of the savanna or Africa or um, anything like that. Have it all ready and get a path going in there. That's a great little habitat. You even have like a backstage um, looking area. I can almost picture like this being, yeah, like the backstage area, area rather. Um, and uh, having like a glass thing here, like looking in or something. That's awesome. Hey, there's Peter. So yeah, viewpoints and lookouts are always a great thing there. So very, very handy to um, kind of spam into your zoo. You could put just like, you know, if you have a big habitat here, just put like, you know, one, two, like three of them, and bam, there's your lookout points all settled there. So awesome, awesome. Just don't fall over. Yeah, well, you know, you sign, um, what you do in Peter's Zoo is you, you sign a, uh, a, 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 a little waiver that if you fall in, it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault so <laughs> so awesome good job there from peter peter pan everyone go ahead and go, uh, subscribe to that favorite and all of that fun stuff there and the last little bit that we have to look at here is from zz it is from zz and we see something from zz just about every week now which is amazing we have our axolotls we have the little axolotls look at these little dudes so yeah those of you that don't know 
um, of Ox um, Oxels, of ZZ. ZZ is uh, one of a few amazing um, art-shaped senseis, basically, that make these just brilliant implied animals. And I mean, like, putting these into your implied exhibits, like if you make an oxalotl exhibit or, you know, what would you make the other week? Like um, a moose, you made a moose the other week and stuff like that. They add so much. Like, yeah, they're not walking around and stuff, but they, they seriously add a lot to your um, implied exhibits there. So definitely um, get going downloading um, all of ZZ stuff there. This is just one thing by ZZ. ZZ has a library that are, is just ginormous. So yeah, again, between ZZ, Drock, and a few others, um, they have some amazing implied animals there. And we always appreciate their hard work on that i know they're adorable zz <laughs> they're really adorable and they're they are they're really good looking all the different colors are perfect there perfect perfect so like favorite comment on it all that fun stuff awesome awesome so that is gonna wrap up the do, 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 got it all yes we did so that wraps up the um little bits here that you can go ahead and plop into your zoo whenever you would like to. So yeah, be sure to um, download any of these items that you uh, could see useful, which there's a lot of them there, and plop them on into your build. So cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and head on to a new segment because it has become a more prevalent thing in the Planet Zoo community. Let's check out some mods, everybody. Let's check out some mods. So the first two mods that we're gonna look at here are from Leaf, and the first one we kind of already saw here is the, what was it, the James Flamingo? Is that actually what it's called, the James Flamingo? So, um, but yeah, here is the first mod, which is from Leaf, called the, um, again, the right, James? Or Indian, the Indian Flamingo. James's Flamingo. Okay, that's what they're called. So this is the James's uh, Flamingo there, and uh, this is the first mod that Leaf has ever done. Um, I don't know if overall, but for Planet Zoo, I mean. And um, yeah, they have taken in some amazing feedback from Reddit that I'm sure they loved getting, uh, and made it just a little bit different. And this is a very recent um, updated version of it. So um, yeah, I think this is just amazing looking. So, so good. So, so good there. I've never seen these in real life, no. Nope, I've never seen them in real life. They're also known as the Puna Flamingo, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Use this uh, mod back in Zoo Tycoon, but the tools for Planet Zoo are much better for our back than really, gotcha. Hey, Poison Blade, uh, what'd you miss? Basically the whole stream, but it's okay. There's two more going today. That's awesome. So then the next one that we have going is going to be the... There they are. Of course, they're hanging out up here. Are the... Ribbon Seals. We have Ribbon Seals here from Leaf. So these replace the... Um, the fl a female, I think. The female uh, Grey Seal Alliance in the game. Uh -huh. Um... Is a country named after? Is a country named after me? I'm like Chad. He's got the yeah. Chad's good. Chad has his uh, country na named after him. He's good to go. Look at the little flamingo coming up. Like, hey guys, how you doing? How you doing, everybody? But yeah, look at these amazing things. Aren't these amazing? So yeah, these take over the gray seal female. Um, so they kind of act like them, but they again, they're just the skin color. Everything looks amazing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it looks so good. So there you go. Be sure to download that as well there. All right, let's check out some things here from Lion Rider. Now, Lion Rider, I just put in his entire mod page basically from Nexus because Lion Rider has a boatload of mods. Uh, he is like the mod king there. Uh, what did the two toad sloth take over? The small elephant statue. Okay, so yeah, I was gonna show off a few things from Lion Rider, but uh, go to Lion Rider's page overall. That's what I linked down in the description. Uh, and yeah, you will just see an abundance of mods. A crap ton even. Music stopped. No, it didn't. We're good. <laughs> uh, so the, what was, crap, what was it called again? Small elephant, okay. This thing. So it's gonna show up as the, oh wait, is this it? Yes, this is it, okay. So whenever you install it correctly, it's gonna show up as this thing, but when you click on it here, it is going to turn into the mod. And now we have our little sloth dude. <laughs> so you can just kind of picture if we were to get, you know, uh, 
I don't know. Right? You know, just kind of picture it, I guess. It's not totally, like, accurate, but... <laughs> little, little sloth dude hanging about in your zoos now, you know? <laughs> so this is a scenery piece um, animatronic, or not animatronic, just a scenery piece. Um, so this doesn't replace an animal, rather, again, it replaces a scenery item. I don't know about you, I never used the decorative small elephant really, so I'm fine with, with replacing that. We also have replaced the panda, one of them, this one. The East Asia Sculpture Giant Panda Mother, because there's a cub and then the mother. We replaced that with his eagle mod. So there's another Lion Rider mod there. So there's that. And then um, on top of it, but I would die for him, not to be dramatic or anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then on top of that, we also have from Lion Rider actual animal animals that he has made, like a countless amount of them. Um, gosh, what are some of the ones that we have in here right now from you? I've shown a lot of... Oh, we'll do the Western Lowland Gorilla. We'll do the Gorilla first, which that is like a Sasquatch now. We'll send this in here. You did return just in time. Yes, we just got done showing off your sloth and um, birdie, your little birdie there. Now we're gonna show off uh, Sasquatch. I'm just trying to think of the ones that I have installed from you. So here's uh, Lion Rider's take on a beefed up, juiced up Western Lowland Gorilla that's supposed to be like, yeah, the Florida Sasquatch basically. Big, big, scary, bulky guy. He just like, just made the muscles all intense and look at the face, he's just like, Rrr. I don't want to be here. <laughs> uh, he's just so we're going to use this in our um, our Beyond Wolf Nature Reserve as our Sasquatch in there. Just probably one of them running around the swamp. So there's that guy. You might use the baby gorilla so it stands up more. Oh, there you go. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, actually. Um, what else do we have from you? Installed. We can do, yeah, we can do the, um, we can do the beaver, but it's going to look, we can do it. It's a giant beaver though. It'll be a giant beaver because I still didn't install the main OVL. So we'll do the Himalayan uh, bear here, which will look like a giant beaver. Um, but you'll get the idea. This is a me mistake. I made the mistake here on this. There it is. It almost looks like a capybara. So here, here's the... I, I didn't um, download this fully correctly, so it's the size of a Himalayan bear, <laughs> but it's, you know, the beaver aspect is kind of there. It just looks a little goofy because uh, it's it's the size of a bear. <laughs> so this is what happens if you don't install a mod correctly. It doesn't blow your great game up or anything. You just get, you want to see what's better. Ready? <laughs> I can never get enough of the chunky, the chunky beaver. <laughs> I can never. Oh, pause. That is not copyright free music. There we go. We got a thick beaver. <laughs> he's a, he's a chunky boy. <laughs> we got ourselves a chunky beaver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this just, it is just a tab, a thick ass beaver. <laughs> yes. So, you know, it's amazing. I wouldn't expect anything less. Can you get up on there? Oh, chonkers, get up on there. <laughs> so there's that. Let's see what else do we have. I know we have another thing for you. I just can't remember what animals. Um, I can look at my mod files. I have that open. No, I don't. Never mind. He's stuck. He's a little stuck. What else do we... Oh, the gators. Okay, those will be the last one we show off. From Nick. Just to give you all a little taste. He, again, he has countless more up on his page there. Uh, I, yeah, we did have to uninstall the manatee. Yep, exactly. Yep, he has manatees up, but they take place of the ribbon seals. So, I mean, we can't interchange mods while the game's running. We'd have to quit and stuff, but... Uh, so, yeah, here's a gator. 
here's a gator and all of y'all probably seen uh seen this if you've been watching beyond wolf nature preserve at all a little bit we put some gators in there so this replaces the female saltwater crocodile yep chungus is cousin that's right yep 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 yes leaf unfortunately that for now i would leave it leaf i don't think you need to mess with it because i think they're on the verge the modders that is of not having to replace animals or scenery anymore so it sounds like they are very close so maybe don't even bother or maybe do i mean you know not to dictate it but um yeah it sounds like they're very close to making that a possibility so i love that <laughs> oh everything about this is perfect just the the one uh, the one little uh you don't remember ba no earl these are all mods buddy these are all mods. That's what we're showing, uh, showing up. This, the, <laughs> just the. I wish there was a, a ribbon seal up here, up, up here, up here right now. Because that is just like too good. That's too good right now with them just hanging out. <laughs> uh, it is. That's right, Harry. If you search TAF on the Urban Dictionary, you'll come up with thick ass foliage. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's so good and that's why everyone should have mods right I, and you know actually speaking of I, I can show this off too another uh, mod that um, you can get this isn't a Lion Rider mod per se he helped with it but it's not like anyways um, you can get um, you can change out textures we showed this off a little bit earlier so I switched out the textures for the Australia set wood wall set because I never used the Australia wood wall set maybe one time but it was for like the Australia section but like, I really like how that looks and I switched out as well for the classic brick also has like a worn look to it as well that I think looks cool and again I don't really use the classic brick set that much at all so it's, it was kind of like sure why not but yeah you get these like just kind of worn out looking uh just kind of get these worn out looking uh, walls there and I think it just looks really really cool for doing kind of rustic stuff there so uh, yeah no that's uh, that's kind of what we're doing with mods there or what they're doing there um, wondering if Planko has invisible coaster track mod uh, basically yeah Earl they've they they've done a lot of stuff um, with that as far as turning things invisible I would check it out I would check it out the the modding world and planet coaster and planet zoo and Jurassic world evolution right now is exploding it is absolutely like we're on the we're on the uh, precipice of discovery kind of thing so um yeah so anyways there's um everyone there's just little uh tidbits into some mods big shout out to our modders leaf and um uh, i am lion rider and um all the other people in the background i know there's a lot of people in the backgrounds that make these things possible so shout out to all of them as well um and yeah if you want to get these downloaded it's not that hard it's really not that bad to get mods downloaded I know it can seem daunting, but if you've been around uh, modding communities for a while now, like this isn't your first rodeo, it's basically like how we've always had to do it where you switch out OVL and OVS uh, files and stuff like that and replace them and all that. It's a little bit, I don't even wanna say tedious, it's just a process, but it's not that bad. It's really not that hard to do at all. So uh, check out Nexus Mods Planet Zoo. Um, or if you ch check out any of the mods for, that we checked out today, you can get redirected back to the Planet Zoo mod station there. And um, yeah, no, check out some of the mods on there. There's there's even ones that tweak the gameplay. Um, there's uh, there's also uh, ones that tweak the tweak the gameplay rather, so you can get like way more uh, black jaguars. You can get like more realistic uh, animal behaviors. You can get like guests can walk through any animal habitat without freaking out. Um, yeah, you know, there's just there's a ton of ton of ton of really really great stuff, and I'm uh, happy to showcase it, and uh, really really look forward to showcasing more of them in the future. There, thanks, Harry. I appreciate you, buddy. Um, so yeah, everyone, that's gonna go ahead um, and wrap up the first stream here. We have gone a little bit into the next stream, which should have started about two minutes ago. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break uh, in between, so we're gonna have a little bit less time playing new cities than I would have liked to, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, give me about a half hour to 45 minutes to, oh, good on ya, um, good on ya, Oscar, I see what you did there. Oscar updated our thing because, because, joined as a member, and he already updated the end screen there, that is awesome. So let me change that up, but yeah, we'll be live, um, again here in just a few minutes, give me like a half hour just to kind of stretch around and stuff like that um do transform that and then yeah we're gonna come back with some new city we're gonna keep expanding on our city 
from uh, yesterday there. That's going to be a ton of fun. If you didn't catch us playing New City yesterday, be sure to stick around for that because uh, that was a bunch of fun there. Had a lot of fun doing that. Um, and then, yeah, later on tonight, don't forget, we have our watch party. Watch party! Woo! I'm going to get some Kelcorn, probably some beer as well. And uh, we're going to watch some Tremors on my channel with myself and um, Stan Wolf. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna, okay, again, we're not gonna have, like, the movie playing, because we'll get struck in with, uh, DMCA strikes, like, it's nobody's business. Um, so we're gonna have a timer running when we start the movie, and then you will all have to kind of watch the movie yourselves, and we'll kind of be commentating on it. That's how all the other watch parties do it, so we're gonna do it like that, too. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you all tonight at, yeah, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel tonight to watch some Tremors, some good B-movie cheesy horrorness there. So <laughs> it'll be a good time. So, hey, thanks so much, everyone. Appreciate the heck out of you. We'll see See you in just a little bit for some new city. Have a good one.